subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to this video on popular cloud services. The high demand for public cloud service, has only increased the competition, for cloud services providers. The cloud computing of various companies, largely relies upon the three giants of the field, that is, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. The platforms contain a great variety of services, and products, in terms of database, storage over internet, and applications. The dominant categories include, Software as a Service, Infrastructure as a Service, and Platform as a Service. The most common services being provided include, Compute, Storage, Database, Networking, Content Delivery, Management Tools, Development Tools, and Security. Each of these cloud services providers, varies in their own ways. Let's first have a brief comparison between AWS, Azure, and GCP. Amazon Web Services Amazon Web Services, has been the dominant cloud service provider since 2006. It is, the largest, infrastructure as a service platform, with its mature and developed program. Over a decade of having, targeted cloud-only networks, storage, and compute power, AWS is the most reliable amongst Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. Data encryption, a robust firewall system, and, access control, are some of the major security features, that have been incorporated by AWS, making it adaptive, and secure for businesses, be it small, or large scale. AWS has an advanced cloud solution, and doesn't necessarily support, all, on-premise deployments. Hybrid support has been undertaken, however, AWS largely supports cloud networks. AWS has 69 availability zones, and 22 geographic locations. Microsoft Azure Unlike AWS, Microsoft is a hybrid cloud platform. It supports on-premise hardware, with as much significance as, it does in transferring data on the cloud. It largely inclines to DevOps, app development, and Internet of Things. Azure supports a lot of programming languages, codes, and automation features for developers. It offers platform as a service along with infrastructure as a service. Azure easily stems from Microsoft products, and is compatible with Windows systems. Azure lacks autonomic management, in the sense, that it requires manual operation by someone. Azure is available in 54 regions, with more than 100 data centers, across 140 countries. Google Cloud Platform Google Cloud Platform, supports, open source development largely, and provides security analytics, and storage. The platform is smaller in the field, in comparison with AWS, or Azure. However, it is ideal for small-scale businesses. Kubernetes, one of the open source developments of GCP, is most acknowledged, for deploying containers. GCP further incorporates advanced machine learning solutions, in its services. GCP is available in 200 plus countries across the globe. Now let's compare them on different features and services. AWS comprise more than 165 services. Microsoft lists over 600 Azure services. Google lists over 90 products under the Google Cloud brand. Further, let's discuss and compare on major cloud services available on these platforms. Number 1. Compute Elastic Compute Cloud, EC2, is an AWS compute service that allows pre-configured, or custom AMIs, that is, Amazon Machine Image, for the user to configure virtual machines. There are different zones and regions available for launch. The user determines the specific of VMs such as the memory capacity, power, number, and size. There is the availability of load balancing, which allows the capacity to distribute load covering instances, and thereby, allowing effective performance. Likewise, auto-scaling allows the scaling up, or down of the service capacity, according to user preference. Google Compute Engine, much like AWS, tends to regions, and availability groups, for launching the virtual machine. The service has additional enhancements, exclusive to itself, that include instance with more cores, operating system support, load balancing, live migration virtual machines, and persistent disks, that are faster. A lot like Amazon's AMI. Azure, Microsoft Cloud Service, uses its exclusive equivalent, that is, a virtual hard disk. The virtual hard disk, can be flexible in the sense, that it can either be predefined or be user-defined. Virtual hard disks can also be defined by an external third party. The number of cores, an amount of memory, 
is prerequisite information to be specified for the virtual machines in Azure. Some of the major compute services offered by them are listed here. Number 2. Storage and Databases The storage in AWS depends on the instance. It is rather temporary, since the storage depends on the start and end of an instance, and the storage is accordingly started and destroyed. The S3 service allows the possibility of object storage. Block storage may be attached to an instance or be kept otherwise. Glacier makes the archiving service available. Big Data, NoSQL, or Database is also supported by AWS. AWS storage is scalable and can support a great number of users. Google Cloud Platform has Google Storage for Object Storage. There is also like AWS Temporary Storage and Block Storage in the form of disks. BigQuery, Hadoop, and Bigtable are inherently supported by GCP, since these technologies are Google Cloud development. Google's Nearlin and Coldline avail the possibility to archive, much like Glacier, however, it lacks the latency on recovery. Google Cloud SQL supports relational database storage. Azure Storage Service incorporates Blob Storage and Temporary Storage D Drive for VM based volumes. It also has File Storage, Data Lake Store, Q Storage, exclusive to large volumes, and Disk Storage. For database storage, Azure extends to SQL Database, Database for PostgreSQL, Database for MySQL. Microsoft, unlike GCP, has backup service, site recovery, and archive storage. Cloud resources are required to be managed across multiple business units with enhanced infrastructures, and this, in turn, makes it crucial for all the three cloud service providers to consider the platforms and services that would be functional for this purpose. All three cloud service providers offer deployment, visibility, monitoring, configuration, and provisioning of the cloud resources into the organization. The offerings may be availed from the options of predefined templates or centralized access control. In a competitive overview, AWS and Azure extend to a greater degree in this area, in contrast to Google Cloud Platform. In fact, AWS also offers outsourced managed services. Key Cloud Tools AWS is AI and ML oriented and provides DeepLens, an AI oriented service that incorporates a camera that develops and deploys machine learning algorithms. It is used with object recognition, image recognition, and optical character recognition. AWS further aims to ease the development and training of neural networks without the prerequisite of AI programming. AWS has various services of which, SageMaker Service for Training, Greengrass IoT Messaging Service, Machine Learning Models, and Lambda Serverless Computing Service, are best known. Azure inherently supports on-premise Microsoft software. Also the backup service of Azure links to Microsoft Backup. Azure offers bot service and machine learning service. The cognitive services being offered by Azure has Computer Vision API, Custom Vision Service, Bing Web Search API, Face API, and Text Analytics API. Google Cloud Platform has undertaken advanced machine learning. It developed TensorFlow for developing machine learning applications. This is an open source software library that has recently gained support from AWS as well. The IoT service and serverless services of GCP remain in the beta previews. The APIs include those in natural translation, language and speech. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.